In this uh, tutorial, we will look at various selection criteria that are important in uh, selecting a uh, freezing system for a given food. First, we will consider a rate of freezing. Various uh, freezing methods offer us uh, different rates of uh, freezing foods. In general, the fast rate of freezing is preferred since it uh, results in formation of small ice crystals uh, leading to better quality product. However, that advantage is seen largely in those foods that are consumed in a frozen state, for example, ice cream. In uh, other products that are further processed before consumption, for example, uh, frozen vegetables that are cooked, that very high rate of freezing may not necessarily provide a high quality final product. Still, quality concerns and uh, the influence of rate of freezing is an important item in uh, selecting the freezing system. And next, the uh, size, shape and volume of the product plays an important role. For example, the uh, product may be of small or large size. Uh, it may be a regular shape, uh, such as a uh, rectangular slab shape uh, in case of, for example, uh, fish blocks or packaged um, product in uh, rectangular shaped containers. Similarly, the uh, volume of the product will uh, play a role uh, to be able to extract all the heat to uh, freeze the entire product. Batch or uh, continuous operation is an important selection criterion. Generally, freezing systems that provide uh, continuous operation are preferred. Capital investment costs and operating costs are important as they impact the uh, total cost of freezing uh, foods. Uh, maintenance is a, another important criterion, especially in cases where uh, uh, the equipment uh, has uh, several moving parts uh, that result in uh, more wear and tear. Now, in case of uh, commercial freezing systems, there are some additional criteria that help us to uh, classify them. For example, whether a mechanical refrigeration system is used to uh, cool the freezing medium, such as cooling air, or whether one is using some type of a cryogen, for example, liquid nitrogen or uh, uh, carbon dioxide. Another criterion is whether there is a direct contact of the freezing medium with the food or if there is uh, some type of separation between the uh, freezing medium and the food uh, during the freezing process. Also, what type of heat transfer mechanism is involved? For example, is it by conduction or uh, convection? Uh, for example, uh, we will see systems that use air. In that case, uh, the convection mode of heat transfer is uh, important. And therefore, the heat transfer mechanisms that are important in convection would influence the uh, freezing process. Also, whether the product is prepackaged or whether it is directly exposed to the freezing medium. This has an impact on uh, weight loss from the product during freezing. Of course, weight loss has an impact on the uh, quality of the food as well as it has financial implications. So based on these uh, criteria, we can uh, classify freezing systems in uh, broad terms as indirect contact freezing systems and direct contact freezing systems. In case of uh, indirect contact freezing systems, as we see in this animation, the product is uh, separated from the freezing medium, uh, in this case, for example, air, whereas in case of direct contact, the product is uh, surrounded by the uh, freezing medium. So let's look at some of the uh, freezing systems under each category. In the indirect contact freezing systems, we have the uh, plate freezers, still air room freezers, where uh, typically a packaged product is uh, placed in a still air room. Uh, similarly, blast air, uh, either room or a tunnel. We have uh, scraped surface freezers and drum freezers. In case of direct contact freezing, 
typical systems used are uh, air blast systems for the unpackaged product. Uh, we have uh, belt freezers, fluidized bed freezers, where we can accomplish individual quick freezing, or commonly called IQF, and also systems that involve either immersion freezing, such as in a brine, or uh, use of uh, some type of a cryogen that uh, changes phase and extracts heat from the product, uh, such as uh, liquid nitrogen or uh, solid carbon dioxide. We will look at some of the uh, key features of each of these freezing systems in uh, separate tutorials.